Hey, New Workers, this is Will Zambrano coming to you guys from the NYC Networkers Group in New York. And I want to take uh, this time here to do a quick quick video here on troubleshooting basic VPN point to point tunnels on our Cisco ASAs. Um, now, the reason I'm putting this video together here for you guys is because I've gotten way, 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 way too many emails <laughs> on. Um, on just this question, you know, hey, I have two ASAs or three ASAs, and generally there's somebody's work computers, you know, work ASAs that they want me to fix for them, but, um, <laughs> you know, basically saying like, hey, I got these two or three or whatever ASAs and I can't have them talk to each other. So, you know, I propose to you guys, let me show you how to fish instead of me bringing it to you because, number one, I get tired of looking at the same stuff over and over, <laughs> and number two, it doesn't give you guys the ability to grow into better engineers. Um, and you guys are kind of doing yourself a, you know, injustice of, you know, robbing yourself of the, lo of the, the process of learning, whereas, you know, you can do it yourself instead of asking somebody for help because at the end of the day, these things are pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not, you know, there's a, yes, there's a lot of moving pieces to it, but if you actually get the pieces down, pat, and it becomes muscle memory, then, you know, you won't have to, you know, ask anybody for help and you can troubleshoot yourselves and, in the long run, become a better engineer. So, and you know that's the goal here. So, uh, with that, a little bit about myself. As always, um, there's my rap sheet. Uh, I've been, you know, in IT for about eight years now. Uh, I've consulted and uh, done teaching. There's my a bunch of my certifications there. Uh, biggest thing though, I want to show you guys is our the three main pages for our group here. Number one is going to be our uh, meetup.com/slash/nyc networkers page. And if you guys have the old one, Cisco Dash Networkers, that one works too. It routes you to the same place. So this is going to be a list of our all our upcoming events. We also have a YouTube channel. So that's going to be uh, youtube.com slash Cisco Networkers 1. And uh, this is actually, I'm going to put this in the CCNA security um, video here, video playlist here. And we also have actually a, um, uh, a main website, nycnetworkers.com, which pretty much... Um, just doubles as my blog page slash and you know any labs or stuff that we do during the meetups I will definitely post on that page and of course my Skype and content information is down there as well so let's take a look real quick here a couple of steps that we can do um, you know before you guys go to Google and ask for help uh, because generally it's the same the same stuff rehashed over and over again so nothing I'm gonna say here is new um, if you go to, if you Google this stuff, it's pretty much the same stuff that pops up. So let me save you the trip. Um, <laughs> so let's say here we got our two ASAs here. Um, and I'm not going to go through how to actually make the v uh, VPN because I've done that already in the previous videos, but um, a couple of troubleshooting commands. Now, this is funny because I actually had this particular slide in that video, or if not that video, one of the CCNA security videos. Um, so I'm just going to run from top to bottom and quickly go through them, what they do. Um, show run crypto and show run tunnel. This is going to show your crypto policies and your tunnel groups. This is a nice way to eyeball what you're looking at as part of that getting that VPN tunnel to come up. Um, now these two, I don't, you know, I don't think you really need these two. At least I don't use these when I troubleshoot. Maybe if you guys are more advanced in your uh, CCMP studies or security studies. Um, but pretty much the... Show run crypto, show run tunnel will get you a good starting point. Uh, also, I will take a look at the access list because more often than not, the reason you can't get your tunnel up, uh, and at least that's found for myself, is that the access list is off. So this is very similar to you know if you're doing that, and for some reason you you can't you you do you, you type into the command line show IP net translations and you don't see anything, uh, probably because your access list is wrong and it's not catching that traffic to begin with. So it's going to be the same setup here where if your access list is off, then you're obviously you're you can't get phase one and phase two tunnels to come up anyway. So first and foremost, you know when you go into actually make that ACL to trigger it, make sure it's actually correct. Number one. Uh, number two, once you actually do get everything up and running uh, in terms of all the configuration, uh, run this command: show crypto isocamp sa. That's going to see if the actual uh, phase one of the tunnel comes up, and if you see mm active, that's that's a good sign. So if that part you see on your on your um, ASA, then that means that you know from that point we're good. Um, second off, you want to do a show crypto IPsec SA. This is going to be the uh, phase two tunnel configuration, and 
basically, I mean, if I had my old ASA, I would show you guys in real time, you know, the actual commands, but because I don't have it anymore, I can't show you. But um, if you don't, if it's blank, then that's a bad thing. <laughs> so you want to see something in there. Um, there should be like a peer IP address, so that's going to be like the P, the IP of the other end. Um, if if you see that that information in there, then that should be a good thing. Um, this command is also good here too. This which actually should probably be up. Should probably be up here actually, since it's more relevant to like a, as a show command. So this is a, a nice way also to eyeball all your object networks, and we're talking about um, 8.3 plus afterwards. So this will show you your um, inside network, the other side network, um, the uh, range of uh, or the range of IPs that you don't want to get at it, which I'll get into a second. So this is once again just a nice way to sh you know show that uh, show that information for you. Uh, also, if you do the show access list, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's a pretty dirty config. It shows you like these um, these hex decimals and the hit counts and stuff like that. If you want a nicer, cleaner output, do the show run access list, and that will give you a cleaner output of, of the previous command. Okay. Um, another new another thing to take a look at here is the to ensure your asset camp policies actually match. Um, so that's usually what I try to do is I'll take it, I'll rip out Notepad and I'll pop in there, uh, I'll paste in there the uh, policies that I'm going to be using, and I'll just kind of I'll just copy it to both ASAs. So this way I know for a fact that it's the exact same thing. Now not everything in the haggle has to match the hash authentication group lifetime encryption. Not everything has to match. Like I know the lifetime doesn't have to match, but if you're having issues getting it up, it's better to have it matching. Um, once again, make sure your ACL is correct, and I said it actually three times here. You know, make sure that I mean I, I can't stress that enough because at least for me, that's always been the underlying issue is that I can't you know I I can't even get to phase one first because the ACL is off. So make sure that interesting traffic ACL is uh, configured correctly. So the source is going to be your inside network, and the destination uh, syntax of the ACL is going to be the other end of the configuration. And on the other end of the AC um, of the ASA, you want to have the uh, the same ACL but flipped in reverse. So it's got to be a, a mirror configuration um, on both ends. Uh, also, make sure that you're not, you're not actually natting that traffic over the tunnel. So if you do a show run nat. Um, make sure that you know NAT, or um, th th there's a way that you NAT it into itself because now in 8.3 and above, they force you to NAT everything. So basically, what you're going to do is create a object group or object network where you're not going to, you're basically going to NAT it to itself. So make sure that, that that's happening. Um, also, make sure that it may be a simple step to forget, but make sure that the uh, crypto asset camp is enabled on the correct interface. Uh, and if this is actually the lab that you guys are doing, um, hopefully it's a lab. And it, if you guys are having issues with the production ASA, um, GNS3 has the ability now to simulate or emulate ASAs. So granted, it's not going to be a 5505, but you can get pretty close to it uh, if you're having some issues with that. And sometimes all else, if all else fails, reboot the guy. Um, nothing, especially if this is like a lab setup, you know, it doesn't hurt to do that. Uh, or... Even better, what you can do uh, if you can't reboot it or can't get a maintenance window, completely just scratch the configuration. You know, pull out the policy map, pull out the tunnel group, uh, just start from scratch. Um, sometimes that actually helps for some reason. I, I've seen that a couple times where if I just um, either it could have been I fat fingered something and it wasn't coming up and I kept on glossing over it, or um, or just you know, I mean these are these are you know operating systems. Sometimes it just it just helps to kind of refresh everything here. Um, also, another thing too that I forgot to mention: uh, make sure your routing is proper is properly set up. So check for any static routes that could be messing things up. <laughs> so, because um, I actually I ran into a few issues where there were some static routes on the ASA that was forcing it to go out the uh, out like a, a a local interface instead of going over the tunnel. So. You know, make sure that you don't have any um, static routes or any kind of routing that could possibly also mess up the uh, the tunnel as well. And um, that's it for me, guys. Actually, I mean, this is the original. Uh, this is part of CCNA Security Part Three. Um, so if you go if you go back to the YouTube channel, you should be able to see that. But 
Um, you know, that's it, guys. I mean, if you guys do run into issues with the VPN tunnels, run, you know, bookmark this video or whatever, go through it real quick. Uh, chances are you'll find the issue there. If not, you know, go ahead, definitely email me from there because, you know, then there's like a probably a bigger problem or something um, that, you know, maybe we could, you know, work on. But um, that's it for me, guys. So hopefully I, you know, you guys found that helpful and uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys later.